Hey YouTubers, good morning, this is Rob Moffitt. Guys, today we're going to talk about a couple of vegetarian meat substitutes. I tried vegetarian meat substitutes years ago and they were really not very good. Um, in fact, in my family or friends, you, you, you serve them a vegetarian meat substitute, you might get punched in the face. <laughs> I wouldn't stop me either. But, uh, you know, in the past I would make my own out of... Uh, the oatmeal and, and different spices and make a little sausage patty that was vegetarian. It wasn't bad, but the other stuff you buy in the store wasn't that good. But recently, because of different reasons, I've been trying vegetarian things, and I found a couple of them that actually I like. I mean, I'd buy again, and I, I, I thought I'd give you a quick review of them. The first one is a uh, vegetarian hot dog called Smart Dogs, and they're not as good as Hebrew National, don't get me wrong, but for a hot dog, they're not bad. Um, I made a couple. Uh, first time with a regular bun, but the last few days I was making them with the uh, tortilla. Uh, just put some cheese and sauerkraut and mustard and some spinach leaves, put them on the grill and grilled it up, and, and they were pretty decent. Um, I, and I've bought them several times at Trader Joe's, and uh, um, excuse me, at Walmart, but I think they also have at Trader Joe's. So if you're looking for a, s a substitute for hot dogs, this is something that's not bad. It's only 50 calories also, so it's very low calorie. And, and no cholesterol and very little fat. I was surprised. It doesn't have a bad taste. And it tastes, the texture, that's the main thing with vegetarian stuff is the texture. They can fool around with the taste and spices, but the texture is the main thing. And the texture of the hot dog wasn't bad. I would recommend it. And they were, they were reasonably priced also. And the next thing is actually better than the hot dog. It's, it, it doesn't sound good. It's called Soy Curls by Butler. If you look on Amazon, it's the number one meat substitute they sell. And there's a good reason for it, because primarily because of the texture. Uh, not the taste. The taste is very bland and absorbs the flavor of anything you cook it with. So if you want to make it taste like barbecue, you can, or pork, or, or chicken, or anything, or beef. But the main thing is the texture. And you reconstitute it. It's, it's dry. And I, I, what I, I put mine in some uh, marinade overnight. And next day, I cook it different ways. The first day I cooked it, I, I used the, uh, the grill to make some shish kebabs, and I overcooked it. It cooked for six minutes, and they almost burnt. Um, I, I, the taste wasn't as good as it should have been, but the texture was wonderful, and I, I knew because I'd overcooked it, it was my fault. So I continued cooking with it. Next time I made some chili, it was very good. And the third time, I made a, uh, a spring roll with the carrot, and the cabbage and different spices and the meat that was like it was marinated overnight and it was delicious so I'll, I'll make a spring roll recipe maybe later on but if you want to buy the uh, soy curls if you're only going to get one bag you probably want to get it on Amazon but if you buy more than a bag I think it's cheaper on the Axel Butler site I'll, I'll give the links in my video description on both the Amazon site and the, the Butler site and it's since it's dry, it's lightweight and be good for camping. It says on the bag you want to refrigerate it after opening. Um, I think it's just the the taste will deteriorate over time if it's supposed to the heat. It's better to keep keep it in the refrigerator, I think. But it won't spoil if it's not in the refrigerator because they ship it to you in the cardboard box. Um, I, I would recommend you looking into the soy curls. You can make a lot of different things with it, and the texture is really nice, very close to meat. I was surprised. So these are two little things you might want to check out if you're trying to do the vegetarian thing or trying to cut back on cholesterol or calories or just want to go camping with something that's a good meat substitute, you might want to check these out. Um, I'll do another recipe or do a recipe. This wasn't a recipe video. I'll do a recipe on the spring rolls I did with the, uh, the soy curls. I think you might like them. Hope this little tip helps you guys. And uh, I put on new stuff every week. I got a, a food channel of different recipes. I got a bunch of other playlists. I don't have a food channel. I have a food playlist, excuse me. And I got a bunch of other playlists. I got over 400 videos, and I got several people I uh, feature on my channel that make pretty cool stuff that not a lot of people watch, or more people should watch than they are watching, I think. People I, I like on um, YouTube that I feature on my channel. You want to check them out. Okay, I'm rambling here. <laughs> it's time for me to go. All right, guys, I hope you like the video, and come back and watch more. And take care.